it's time for me to do my top 10 coins or collections within my stack. Let's take a look, shall we? Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So it's time for me to take a look at what's my top 10 within my stack. And believe it or not, then it would be this quarter ounce Apollo 11 commemorative gold. Curved. It's got some silver in it. I think 6% silver. What I recall, Let's see how close we can get that up. But this would be number 10 within my stack. I know people are like, but wait, it's gold. Well, yes, but I really like my silver too. I'm going to start jumping on a little bit of that more here soon. We shall see. But anyway, this is number 10. Ninth on the list. And for being such a newer piece, I had to really think about this one. Did I want to include this in my ninth of all time? I just think that that is a wicked dot design from the Germania Mint, the Fafnir, one ounce. You get two of them, put them in this like infinity style type capsule. And it's a pretty cool little design. It goes from front to back, and that is just a well-struck round. It is round, right? I believe this is round, not a coin. And that's ninth on my list. And yes, eighth on my list are these highly reflective. <laughs> Face reveal, five ounce, silver Apollo. This was one of the first commemorative coins, one of the first times I purchased anything off the mint. I was still not even a full year into doing my stack. So <laughs> that's it. And I liked them so well. What I get, Wing? Not one. But two. But I got two of them because I liked them so well. And they will reside in the perma stack for some time to come. That was number eight on the list. Number seven on my list is a weird one to have as number seven on the list, but I don't know, some people might like them. It's actually a 1964 Kennedy. And there's something about the 1964 Kennedys I just really like. It's the only year that they made them in 90% silver until they started coming out again in 1992 into proof sets that way. But, those were never intended to be a business strike. The 1964 was. Some people consider this junk silver, constitutional silver. Obviously, that's what it is. Whereas the 20 or the 1992s would not be. So, as far as just a regular business strike coin back in this day, you can't go wrong with the 64 candies. I got a couple rolls out there. I have many more. I really like the 1964 candy. That res resides in number seven. And the sixth and final coin or collection on my list for this video are the American Eagle Silver Dollars in the Dance Club. And in this particular one, I'm not quite got the last one in there yet. I have everyone in BU condition. Of course, many know I do have a monster box filled with these things, but I also have a side book of these things where I have one of every single date. And we still got to fill <gasps> the 2021. And Winning and I were actually pretty happy to know that they were going to continue the American Silver Evil because the old design, because we get to actually fill the very last one up. Yeah, I thought it was design. a shame to put a new design at the end of the book. Right. So we're happy about that. And I just, I don't know, never really thought I was going to like the American Silver Eagle. I did. I like it well enough to put it number six, at least this book of collection I do, at that spot. So that's going to bring this one to a close. Next week, I'll have number five through one within my 
top 10 collection, and we'll see where we go from there. Until then, remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.